What's going on everybody? King of Dragons 5000 here coming at you with another figure review. Today we'll be having a look at the McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse Bizarro from DC Rebirth. And so here we have the McFarlane Multiverse Bizarro pose and out of the packaging. Before we take a look at the figure, let's actually run through his accessories really fast. Bizarro does come with two pairs of hands. We do get a pair of fists. Then we get a pair of style pose hands. And then of course we get the multiverse display base. Other than that, Bizarro doesn't come with anything else. So let's actually take a closer look at Bizarro. And so here we have a closer look at the McFarlane Multiverse, Bizarro, and McFarlane has done a really great job with this figure. Now, a lot of this figure ha is reuse from the infected Superman. We do have a few new parts and we'll go over that in a little bit. But having a look at this head, this is a very nice head sculpt. It's a more modern take on Bizarro. It's not the classic rendition of the rocky face. It's more of a, I guess Frankenstein monster would probably be the best way to word it. He doesn't have that cracked rocky face anymore. He's kind of like an uglier uh, Frankenstein-ish Superman, which I'm perfectly okay with. He still has kind of these heart lines on his face and it does look really nice, especially here. You can see McFarlane added some coloration to the crevices of his head and that does bring out all that nice little detail right here. It looks really good. I do like the fact that he did darken the eyes around Bizarro. That's another nice little touch that looks really great from a distance. Kind of wish they did Joker this way instead of that really horrid red that they went with. But anyway, really do like the hair that they gave Bizarro. It, like I said, this is a more modern take on Bizarro. It's not classic Bizarro, so his hair, his features are a little bit more uh, disproportionate compared to what they normally are. And you can see he just has hair at the top of his head and that's how Bizarro is drawn in Rebirth. And I really do like the way this figure came out. The head sculpt looks really nice. And my only complaint is that the head is a completely different color than the skin. All the skin that is exposed on Bizarro, they could have done a much better job of matching it. Like giving him a unique set of hands instead of reusing the Superman from the Infected line. Because... If they had added some detailing to the hand and then added this wash, it would look a little bit better. Because just look at how nice it looks right here on the head. We have that greenish blue right here. We have a little bit of it here, but mm, it doesn't look as nice. So having a look at his costume, like I said, this is the infected Superman Superman torso and body. There's only one new part on the body, and that is the crotch piece right here. But as far as pieces go he does have his bizarro s shield which is just a reverse s which looks really nice i do like it i love the shade of this figure too it's a really nice dull blue it's not your traditional purple like we normally see with bizarro but i do like the fact that it is a slightly dull blue and it looks really nice under normal lighting and especially under my studio lights you can see the panel lining that we had with the infected Superman. Something I just enjoy doing on my figure, you don't have to do it, is I like having his shoulders uh, pivoted down a little bit. Now you can have them pivoted up and at normal height. I just feel like Bizarro would have more of a slouch stance. So I have his shoulders uh, more down like that. You don't have to do it that way, but that's just how I envision Bizarro. The cape has some really nice texturing to it i know the camera might have a hard time picking it up but it's a really nice texture i want to say this is the infected superman cape i don't quite remember i didn't get him out for this review unfortunately but he is in storage i'll double check that after the review but the cape does look fantastic and it's a really nice soft material it's not a soft plastic it's not the softest plastic it still weighs him down a little bit so he is a little bit back heavy but it does get out of the way so you can pose them and you can like have them holding the cape like that so it's no big deal. Really do like the way he looks. They did a really good job with him. There's really nothing more I can say about the sculpt. It's a fantastic sculpt and I really want to see a Superman using this torso. Not just infected Superman or monstrous versions of Superman or bizarro Superman. I want to see an actual Superman with this body because I think it will look fantastic. So 
the crotch piece like I didn't mention is completely new and you can see there is some tonal difference between it because this is a solid plastic this is a softer plastic and softer plastics are normally a little bit off colored from harder plastics so we do have some more panel lining right here which does go around the leg we have some right here uh, do we know we actually don't have some on the knee pads I honestly thought that there might be some panel lining on the knees to give them like a sort of knee pad look but yeah overall I'm still really impressed by this sculpt he is a little bit plain just because this is a rebirth version of Bizarro so he doesn't have his traditional red boots we just get the red line right here at the top and then the boots are the same color as his outfit which it's not the most exciting version of Bizarro but it's still a really interesting version nonetheless and Bizarro here looks amazing they did a fantastic job making him look horrifically gruesome so that's Bizarro's detail for you guys what we're going to do now is take a little break get him posed next to other figures you may have in your collection here we have Bizarro posed next to a Marvel Legends Cyclops and a DC Multiverse Superman here we have Bizarro posed next to a WWE Elite Scale figure and a Mezco 112 Collective Popeye the Sailor Man. Here we have Bizarro posed next to a Lightning Collection White Ranger and a Star Wars Black Series Mandalorian. And finally here we do have Bizarro posed next to a McFarlane Action Comics Superman and a Mattel Bizarro. So with the comparisons out of the way, let's actually move on to Bizarro's articulation. Now Bizarro does have a double ball joint here in the head and something I didn't notice is that his head comes off fairly easy for a McFarlane figure but you can see he does have a double ball joint right there. So you can actually get him to look up quite a bit. He looks all the way up. He can look all the way down. He has some really nice head tilt so that's really good now one thing to note about his head is that it is a soft plastic so you can see as I move his head it does flex his chin a little bit so his jawline does kind of butt up against the neck so that is something you might want to take into consideration when posing him otherwise it's going to look like he has a wider jaw than he normally does he does have a ball joint here at the shoulder so that does pivot up and down we get some in and out movement and it moves all the way around arm goes out to the side all the way no problem goes 360 no issues whatsoever we do have a bicep swivel we have a double bend here at the elbow giving us some really good range you can see it almost touches his shoulder which is a really nice range we do have a ball hinge here at the wrist which does move in and out and then we can pivot that to have up and down movement and then of course it does rotate on that peg he does have a ball joint here at the torso and it does function really nicely. I do like it. We have some really nice forward and back movement, some nice side to side, some nice rotation. Then with his secondary ball joint down here at the waist, we get really good range going forward and back surprisingly. That's really good range for a McFarlane figure. We get all the tilt we can want. So he does hula hooping action. Legs do kick forward Ooh, quite a bit. I really do like how high they kick. And the fact that his crotch piece is a really nice soft plastic, it gets out of the way so you can get him to do like ballerina kicks. And that's really nice. It does flex a little bit, but it does go back to its original position. It does go out to the side, no problem. Uh, thigh swivel, slight thigh swivel, almost non-existent. We do have double jointed knees works no problem no boot cut swivel but we do have a swivel here at the foot we have a hinge which goes back forward and back we do have forward facing pin for rocker ankle and combining both the rotation and rocker ankle we can give bizarro a true rocker ankle and then of course he does have a very generous toe hinge so overall bizarro here is a really well done figure and i really do like the way he came out mcfarlane i think has knocked it out of the park once again with bizarro so with that out of the way guys let's actually get him posed for my final thoughts and then we'll wrap up this review and so here we have the McFarlane Multiverse Bizarro pose for my final thoughts and overall this figure is done exceptionally well. It's a very clever reuse of parts from the infected Superman figure which was a really nice figure but I think Bizarro here uses the parts a little bit better. I don't know what it is about Bizarro. I think this body looks a lot better for Bizarro. I think the no neck syndrome that we saw in infected Superman actually works toward Bizarro's advantage here because it does make 
can have a more monstrous and more menacing look. Even though in the comics, Bizarro isn't as monstrous as he used to be, I really do like the way this figure came out. McFarlane has done a really good job of capturing the look and feel of Bizarro from the Rebirth comics, so that is a very nice plus. The coloration on him looks really nice. The faded blues, the faded reds, and the yellow looks so good on this figure. If I had one complaint, it's a paint job on the hands. The fact that the hands are just reused from the infected Superman, it's not the best thing you could have done. You could have sculpted unique hands for Bizarro. That way you could have better detailing with the paint. But overall, Bizarro here is a f fun addition to your collection. If you have it though, Action Comics Superman, you're going to want to have Bizarro pose next to him fighting and they do a really good job of fighting. And hopefully you guys enjoy the gallery at the end of this video. And if you're a fan of Red Hood and the Outlaws, you definitely need Bizarro in your collection because he is part of the Red Hood tr Trinity. And now all we need is Artemis and the Red Hood and the Outlaws set would be complete. Hopefully down the road, McFarlane does give us an Artemis. But until that time, Bizarro and Red Hood can go really nice as the anti-dynamic duo. With that being said, guys, I'm King of Dragons 5000. Don't forget to like this video, leave a comment, subscribe to my channel. Go ahead and check out all my other action figure videos, as well as all my other DC Multiverse reviews. Hopefully you find them informative. As always, if there's a figure you would like to see me review, let me know down in the comments. And if it, if it fits in my collection, I'll definitely have a look at it. While you're at it, check out my Instagram account for new and exciting action figure photos. And as always... Ring that bell to be notified every time I upload a video. Until next time guys, I'll see you later. Take care everyone.